Hey, what's up everyone? I am Carly Coy and today I am here at the Dope House. You are now watching the Almost Home podcast and on today's episode, I will be giving you a tour of the whole entire Dope House. This is 1105. This is where we currently have our offices, our studios. We just actually required the next door, 1103, so we're actually doubling in size. So for all of our events, all of our concerts, we have a lot more room now, so we're super excited and we're growing. So let's go and show you all of the new things that we have so far. All right, guys, when you first walk in, we are greeted by the hallway right here and also the store to our right immediately. So we have this gate right here. We have the, you know, barbed wire fence over here, which gives it kind of like the prison vibe. Just we have all of our merch. We got shirts, all different kinds of shirts, you know. Um, we got this Hillwood shirt over here. We have a shirt for the lovers and the homies, know what I'm saying? That one's super cute. All right, we got all the hats over here. We got some socks down here, some vinyls, snapbacks, stickers, dad hats, bucket hats. All these beautiful posters that you see displayed up here are available for sale. We have prison bracelets made by the prisoners at the Ramsey unit, which is the unit that SPM is at currently. So they were all band together, making these together up in there for you guys. So come out to the Dope House, 1105 Providence Street, and come check out our store and come get some merch. We even have towels, bandanas, lanyards, keychains, all kinds of trinkets. All right guys, that's the Dope House store back here. We have all of our back stock, all of our inventory. NAE works really hard to keep this place super organized. We have everything by size, all of our CDs, all of our posters back here. Right through these doors over here, we have our mail room. We have all of our miscellaneous little lanyards, our prison bracelets, our stickers, our towels, all that stuff back here. We package the packages right here. This is our mail room. And this is Anna's office. This is where she works really hard, filling those Shopify orders and all that stuff. Can you say hi to our Almost Home podcast? Hey, guys. Okay, guys, as we're walking out of the store, it leads you into this hallway right here. We have some art over here. We have some, some more art done by my boy Sambo, who I believe did this while he was in prison. And my aunt came and added some color to it and blew it up and put it on a canvas. The details on this are insane, so that's pretty beautiful. Um, we have all of our fans come through. Everybody who comes through usually wants to sign our boards that we have in here, so if you guys come visit the Dope House, you definitely have to sign our fan board, so it's really fun to look at all of the different ones. And we have changed these out a few times because they get super filled up. Um, but those are our newer ones and they're pretty much already all filled up. This is our showroom. This is where we have events. This is where our shows are. We have our stage back there. We have our dope house set right here. That was all made by Infamous Tex. My shout out to my boy Infamous Tex from 97.9. You know, he built this whole stage with his bare hands and actually the stage is mobile. You could take it apart into four different parts as well as the house and it, you can take it with you anywhere you wanna go so it's pretty cool. Um, also Sambo, shout out to my boy Sambo who did the, the marbling floors over here. He did this mural as well. We actually had two different artists come in and complete this mural. It's a galaxy. We got the stars, we got the earth. We even have a dope house and a helicopter back here behind the house. You can't see it right now, but it's really nice. We got some more um, SPM art here that hasn't been hung up. We even have this banner back here if our fans wanna come through and um, take a picture. They could take a picture right here. They could take a picture by the house. These are our other boards that I was telling you guys about that are all filled up. Yeah, so. Yeah, memories. Memories. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, go check out the studios. Hey, what are you guys up to? 
Uh, we're just trying to do dope house tours. Give us a tour of your, uh, oh, your setup. Sure, sure, let's go. Let me show y'all Studio B here at Dope House. This is my Apple setup. I do RXing work and I put songs together. Also, have a bunch of cute artwork that my husband sends from prison. Got the cameras here, as um, you can see. In this corner, this is where I do most of my video editing work. This is my window setup. It's very pink. This is uh, my mic. This is where I bust a freestyle right before lunch. Um, what else? Let me see. Right here I have a little mirror, so if I need to do my makeup or something, if I need to print something out. I call this the brainstorming section right here. This is where, you know, if I have to be on a call, on a meeting with the lawyer or the accountant, do payroll, this is where I chill. Got some photos of Bay down there. And this is where we slow things down. This is uh, the turntables. And um, got a little setup here, you know? That was it, my name is Odalis. Y'all got a little inside scoop of my studio and what I do here at Dope House. See y'all later. Right here through these doors is where some of the most hard work goes down. We call this the heart of our company. We got JD Koi working in here. We got Mark Cernet working in here. And we got Roke working in here. JD is our producer and our editor for our show, our Almost Home podcast. We have Roke who is building our app, our Dope House Live platform, which is a social media and a music streaming platform that he is building from scratch. We also have our boy Mark Serta in here who's in charge of social media. He also does merchandising and managing, and he's really, truly a jack of all trades. So let's go in here and bother these boys really quick. We just want to know a little bit what's going on with Dope House Live. Everybody is so interested. Everyone wants to know what's the holdup, what's taking so long. And some people even want to know, what is Dope House Live? in general not even not not even a lot of people like know about it too much dope house live it's a it's gonna be a music platform music streaming platform for dope house records for is made by 4spm um if you want to take a look at the camera i have it pull it over here this is technically the app this is gonna have live streaming music live streaming our current events that are there that are going on um you could do live streaming we're gonna have videos we have more options like VR podcast and stuff like that wow that's wonderful well thank you for showing us I didn't know you were gonna have all of that prepared you guys just saw an exclusive first look at our app so we're really excited for that you guys stay tuned we're basically just waiting for the go ahead from the big boss on when this is gonna drop. So bear with us because we, we don't even know yet. But yeah, basically that's what's up. Thank you so much, Roke. Thank you for your time. And Mark, we're gonna come over here with you. Do you have any news or anything that you wanna let the people know? I know that you guys are going to Fiesta in San Antonio for 10 days. Yeah, we're gonna be out there from the 19th to the 28th, uh, 10 days straight, you know. We got a lot of new exclusive merch only available there. So if you're around the area, y'all come through. Definitely, if you're in San Antonio, you gotta go check out the Dope House the, do the Dope House booth at Fiesta. All right, you guys, this is Studio A. This is where it goes down, where all the magic happens. If you guys have heard any of the new SPM songs that have dropped recently or any new albums, they were more than likely mixed and mastered in this very room. Back here, we have our soundboard that was a whopping 60K. We have a lot of great engineers come through here and come operate out of this studio. Like, for example, we got Bruce Bangs and Mark Kidney that come up here on a weekly basis we got a lot of people that come through shadow hi mitt pain you already know it goes down here in in studio a so i really love this area this is probably my favorite area in the whole dope house soundproof it has these beautiful curtains all around it we have the microphone we have a little lamp if you need some privacy you want to write you know it's really vibey in here you could do a lot 
can uh, adjust the lights. We even have this really nice window right here. If you want to talk to your engineer, connect with your engineer while you guys are working together, like, hey, you, you better stop that. I got, I got to do that again. Oh, oh. You know, you can like send them a little message. You know what I'm saying? It's real great. It's real nice. I love the vocal booth. But yeah, this is Studio A. I hope you guys like it. Come check it out. Come record a song. You already know. It goes down here at the Dope Pass. All right, guys. And over here, we have our Dope House Museum. When we move to 1103, it's going to be actually, an, uh, it's going to be an actual museum. It's going to be a lot bigger in size. It's going to be a lot nicer. But for now, we have all of our artifacts lined up against this wall. Right here, we have all of our trophies, Texas Latin Rap Awards. We have some Dope House Awards down there. And we have a South Park Mexican Houston Hip Hop 50th um, Anniversary Award. It's pretty cool. Right here, we have all of SPM's disc discography displayed um, very nicely. Super beautiful. I love that. I think it's 14 albums. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Something like that. I think it's 14. Um, but yeah, over here is an original SPM, his soundboard, um, his Scorpion soundboard. But yeah, it's really old. It's really, really old. Uh, we have some newspaper clippings up here that were given to him. Um, Carlos Coy, rap artist, South Park Mexican SPM. We have the People Tomorrow, People um, Magazine. Over here, we have his old Astros jersey, which is really cute. This lime green, they came out with a lime green design. And here, down here is a picture of him wearing it. Over here, we have some more um, newspaper articles. Murder Dog, I believe that's a magazine. Pre Preview Magazine, Rapping with South Park Mexican, um, featured in the Houston Chronicle. Over here is the New Yorker Magazine, um, South Park Mexican SPM Best Solo, The Third Wish, so that's super cool. And we have another jersey. This is a FUBU baby blue and yellow jersey, super cute. He's also down here photographed wearing his shirt as well, so. Yeah, that's the little, um, those are some of the things that are gonna be in the Dope House Museum. All right guys, that was our showroom and our studios. Now it's time for us to head on upstairs to our podcasting area. All right guys, this is our podcasting area. We have officially moved upstairs and taken over this whole upstairs area. This is where the podcasts specifically go down, where we're gonna be sitting. We have some really pretty lights over there. We have some decorations back here. I believe we're gonna be adding a green screen back there, so it's gonna be super fun. And over here in this section, we have a little editing desk where we do some editing for the podcast as well. And back here, we are going to be having like a little lounge area. So if we ever have any guests on our podcast and they bring, you know, their entourage with them, they would have a place to sit and to chill while we do the podcast for sure. So yeah, we have this whole area back here and we also have a huge restroom. So if anybody came in, needed to take a shower, needed to get ready or do a wardrobe change for a music video, we have everything up here to do that in our bathroom, so. Guys, last but certainly not least, I'm gonna be showing you guys next door. I just showed you guys 1105, 1103 is our new space. We are doubling in size, we're opening it up. Next door is gonna be where our Dope House car is gonna be at. It's gonna be where our Dope House museum is gonna be at. We're even moving the store over to that side. This side's gonna be mostly where the stage is, where the VIP is. So you guys, it's, it's something really to look forward to at our future Dope House shows. All right guys, this is 1103 Providence, which is approximately 5,000 square feet that we're adding on to the Dope House. Over there towards the center, we're gonna be knocking some walls down, connecting it directly over to 1105. Over on this side, we're gonna have the Dope House Museum, as well as the Dope House Store will be moving over here. We're gonna also have SPM's SP63 Impala 
We have two brand new restrooms back there, a men's and a women's bathroom. So we're really excited about all the renovations going down that are actually going down right now as we speak. So hence the noise in the background. Um, but yeah, guys, we're super excited to host our events. We're super excited for our concerts. We have a lot more space now and we can't wait to see all of you guys' faces fill this place up. Hey, what's up everybody? I am here with Powda, a dope house legend, a dope house OG. What's going on? How are you doing tonight? I am doing great. Thank this you so much for having is. me. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm glad. We're so honored to have you here. I'm so glad you could come, you know, today, last minute with <laughs> everything that you have going on. I know you have a show you got to get to. Yes, I do have a show tonight, actually, at East End Brew. Um, it's a benefit for my boy, Mo Hustle's uh, cousin that uh, was diagnosed with cancer. So we're doing a benefit to try to raise money for his treatments. So, yeah, me and actually Raj Rashid and Loji are going to be there, too. Oh, yeah, nice. so it's going to be a good show. Well, that's good. I hope you guys raise a lot of money. Thank you. Yeah, so we want to know, Powda, your love for music, is that why you came back to the rap game or what made you come back? Well, I'll be honest, it was a, a collective a collective amount of things that kind of brought me back. And honestly, I have to give props to your dad because he was the first one to even mention getting back in the game to me. Um, really? Yes, he was. Actually, back in... 2021 uh -huh. that's when i did the day of unity show uh -huh. um he called me out right. of nowhere and was like <laughs> hey you want to do this show and i'm like you know i'm retired uh -huh. and he's like well just come back for this you know and then we kind of talked about it and he's like man you should be back in it you would kill it and i'm like oh no i don't think so i think i'm done with that part of my life but he kind of like was like nah you would kill it if you came back so he kind of mentioned to mentioned it to me first and then had even asked me to like possibly do a tour the tour didn't happen but we talked about it you know so first thing i talked to him about it kind of got the idea back in my head and i did that day of unity show which a lot of people saw me at that show and it kind of like sparked up a lot of uh, conversations right um then I got the Legend Award from SLM. Um, they presented me with the Legend Award in December of 22. And uh, that really sparked a lot of interest. Like people started hitting me up, you know, like, hey, where you been? What are you doing? Are you coming back? I actually performed the night that I got the award and I got so many like compliments and just like me. And it's like, you never left, you're even better. And I was like, damn. Okay, so that was recently, right? December 22. Yeah. Yeah, so then within a few months, like by j end of January 23, I was back in the game. Okay. Yeah, I got some phone calls to be on a feature. I went into a studio with Manic Media, shout out to Manic, and uh, it's history from there. He basically offered to do an album with me after that first session meeting him. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that's who you've been working on your album with? Yes. Your and new he, album? Yes. The Queen is Back is the title. And the he, Queen is Back. Yes. <laughs> yes. And he produced the whole thing. Cool. The whole album. Nice. So is that really what the album is about? Like your comeback and stuff like that? A, a lot of it is. Uh -huh. um, you know, I talk about it quite a bit I bring it up um right but yeah uh, it's it's not all about the comeback but you know that's that's the main I guess the main subject <laughs> okay yeah. is that I was retired and now I'm back okay so what what else is about it what are some other themes that we could be looking for in, in well it? I feel like it's very 90s early 2000s nostalgic like oh, I have okay. I used a lot of samples and my tracks like the, like we did back then um i love that yeah I love samples like samples that are screwed stuff like that um cool. yeah so it's very and and you know i still have that kind of old school way of rapping i do switch it up here and there like i you know try to be more updated with the way that i'm rapping but i still am i'm an og so i'm still old school so you'll hear <laughs> that kind of old school style um I love it. on a lot of tracks too yeah mm -hmm. but um so yeah, all those things collectively happen and then boom, I was making an album before I knew it. Nice, you have a new single dropping this um, April the 18th? Yes, yes. Okay. So um, 
I saw, I actually, you know, I had already done this song. This is actually a remix of a song that I did back in the day. Um, but it's called Smoke On, so I'm releasing it for 20 Week. Oh, and nice. Yeah, so um, Tex from Hustle Town Network was doing like a little promo thing with the Grow Room. Okay. And they wanted to do performances of, you know, artists singing their best stoner songs. <laughs> so okay. I was like, I hit him up and I was like, man, I got a really good song like for this. Let's do it. And he was like, come on, let's do it. It's done. So right. he decided to do that and release that on 420, the performance on 420. And I was like, man, I got to get this song out then. If we're going to release a performance of it, like I got to get it out. So I hurried up and shot the video. And yeah, it's coming out on the 18th. And then you'll be seeing uh, not only my video will drop on the 18th and the single will drop. But then on 420, um, Texas is going to be Hustletown Network will be airing my performance video as well with uh, Manic. Manic's actually rapping on this one, too. Nice, yeah. nice. Multi talented. <laughs> Manic yeah, is. <laughs> Manic. He is an engineer, producer, and a videographer as well. Yes, videographer, rapper. He does it rapper all. too. <laughs> yeah, he's featured on this uh, song dropping on four eighteen. Right, it's called right. Smoke On. Yeah, Smoke On featuring Manic. Yeah. How did Manic? From Powder's new album, The Queen Is Back. Yes, yes. That's super exciting. And you know, when I came back into the game, one of the things that I really, that stuck out to me, mm -hmm. and maybe it was because the first, like, I don't know, one of the first things that I did was a women's empowerment show with um, Jessica Jean. She was actually giving me, Crystal Poppin, and Carolyn Rodriguez our flowers. She was like, I want to do this thing, you know, where I give like people their flowers while they're still here. And she wanted to give me mine. I remember that. Yeah. So I came back and she was putting on this women's empowerment show and it was nothing but female performers. And I was just blown away with the amount of talent that all these women had. And I got to see all the girls that were really doing it in the game right now, because I've, I've been out the, I mean, I was out the game. Like I had yeah, nothing, out, out. I had no social media. I was not keeping up with who was doing what locally, like none of that. Do you remember one time we ran into you at Schlitterbahn? No. You don't remember that? No. Yeah, I was younger, I don't know, but you were there and we said hi to you. Oh, I don't remember. Well, I don't remember a lot, but I don't <laughs> My memory is horrible, but um, yeah, that was the last time I saw you. But you had already been out of yeah. the music. The I was industry. really, really out. Like I was living a yeah. completely normal life and never thought I would come back. But you know, everything happens for a reason. It's just uh, it's like it keeps itching at me and calling me back, and I keep coming back, and then I'll leave. And but I'm not leaving again. I'm I'm here to stay this yeah, time. Definitely, because I definitely wanted to give the fans the album that they deserve that they never got. But I wanted to right. make sure to put Queens on this album because when I came back and got to see all these women perform, like um, Mandy Red from Dallas was there. I Am Lopez from here was there performing. Animes. Um, and these women are amazing. And I was just right. like, wow. I gotta if, look at these women in the game. Like, I want to get back and do stuff with them because back in the day, you know, it wasn't there was like, like that. Yeah, it was like two of us, right? Exactly. You know, it it it, it wasn't like and that. Y'all didn't really get a chance to you know collaborate, fully shine. You know, these men were dominating, and it was like okay, you did a feature here and there, right? Mm -hmm. Right. But now these women are killing it all on their own. I was like, I gotta be a part of this. So <laughs> I immediately like hooked up with all those people that I saw and I was like I want y'all on my album like I want to do right. music with y'all and thank god um everybody was very receptive and come on let's do it so yes. I got Crystal popping on a track too Ooh, yes. I'm excited for that oh man it's uh it dropped it's called La 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 with La Crystal La La Pop. okay I've heard that one yeah, yeah with nice. Crystal popping. I love that song um so I I mean I got all the all the queens okay on there yes and then next wow. I'll be dropping a single with I Am Lopez oh fun yeah. I love her I yeah love her she so is much. amazing yeah, she is. She's such a hard worker, too. And her kids yes. are absolutely <laughs> like they're <laughs> angels. I love them so much. They're so good, too. Yeah. All kids are good. All kids uh. are good. <laughs> no, no, they uh. are. They are. They are. 
but yeah, so a lot of people want to know about what went down all those years ago between you and Salty Records. And we want to know if you are down to set the record straight on why you left. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, one of the one of the main reasons why I left is because I wasn't getting paid. You know, that was a huge deciding factor um, because I never got paid for anything. Like all of those hits that you know me for, you know, that were on the radio. Ooh, ah, ah. Yes. Do you think I'm a nasty <laughs> girl? Bro, tell me why that was a, my favorite song when I was like six years old. Why Should not I have been singing, singing that? that song. <laughs> but like the melody was so good. And you, could, you couldn't help it. It was all over the radio. Like Ooh, I got so many. Ah, ah. I love that. Make it hot, one in a million, if yes, I would have, should have, could have, take it off. One all of these million. songs that I did were all on the radio and getting like a lot of spins That's crazy. and selling records. Um, and I never got paid anything for any of that. So that was a big reason. Number two, um, you know, Pancho V was the CEO of Salty Water Records and me and him got into a personal relationship and it wasn't a good relationship. It, it just didn't work out. Um, and so the breakup was just so ugly. I could not see myself going back after that. Plus I'm like, and I ain't even getting paid. Like you're going to do me like this and I'm not getting paid. Right. No. Okay. It's Hell time no. to go. So I left and, um, you know, immediately it wasn't like, I didn't think of it as like, I'm going to leave here and I'm going to go here. I didn't right. think of it as like that. Me and Carlos have always been friends. I've known him since before Salty Water. Like I've known him forever. Oh, okay. So it was just, you know, uh, me and him talking saying, yeah, I left. And he was just like, well, you can come here, you know? Cause <laughs> I was devastated. I was so sad. I didn't know what I was going to do. I was like, my career is over, you know? And he's like, you can come here. It's not, not a big deal. And I'm like, okay. And it seemed like nothing, but it caused a lot of drama. Um, it did cause a lot of drama when I left and I know everybody like heard about all of the different altercations, but what it boiled down to was that, uh, you salty. weren't getting paid. Yeah, I wasn't getting paid. And that was a huge problem with Carlos, like with SPM, he thought that that was really messed up. So he was like, no, you need to leave. And he immediately started to pay me before I even did much. You know, he gave me a signing bonus, which was a blessing and was like, you know, just come here. Don't continue to disrespect yourself like that. You know, you deserve more. And he really is the reason that I started to have that self-confidence in myself. He instilled it in me and was like, you don't deserve to be treated like that. You deserve better. And he always treated me like that, like I deserved better. So, um, yeah, shout out to SPM, man. Thank you so much for, for doing that for me because I was in such a dark place when I left Salty Water that, you know, my self-esteem was crashed. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, everything, I lost a lot all at once. So, um, but Dope House was like my light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> you know it was it was meant to be the it really your was. story went down yeah and it was just an opportunity that happened to present itself you know it worked out just the way it was supposed to that's what i thought <laughs> but uh you know some I mean, other people didn't agree but... yeah salty water wasn't happy about it and i get it because he's like well you know i've wasted all this time on you but at the same time he wanted like yeah but... but you didn't pay me anything yeah. so you kind of got like free labor out of me right? you got the songs like you got that, everything so. I, like i still am not making anything off of that so That's you're crazy. you're still winning you know you're still winning and but he wanted money and sbm was like no i'm not giving him anything he never paid you anything well I'm if not. it makes you feel better since like streaming platforms have been out i don't think i've listened to that song <laughs> <laughs> well thank you <laughs> the the nasty girl one yeah it's like, ah, uh, now I'm going to listen to it when I get home. <laughs> Take you back to those days when you were six. <laughs> Whenever my grandma was making me, like, muffins for my little doll's birthday party. Oh, God. She would literally make me little muffins. Aw. You know my grandma, right? Yeah. She was the best, like, real muffins I would eat, like, all six of them. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Grandma. Shout out to Grandma Norma. Oh, sure. 
Um, there was one last thing I wanted to ask you about. That's right. The Mexican, how could I forget? <laughs> <laughs> the Mexican radio remix. Can you yeah. tell us about that? Actually, it's called Remax. And I want to elaborate on that because my dad is taking over Mondays with this podcast. He's going to be dropping new songs every single Monday. Oh, wow. For the most part, whether they be brand new songs that the fans have never heard before mm-hmm. or they are remixes. We call them remixes, like oh, Mexican Monday. Remixes. They're remixes. Yes. Um, nice. So if you hear me say remix or remix, it's for a reason. It, it, okay. That's what it. That's what it's called. <laughs> um, but so he has the these remixes that he's doing where the song is completely remixed and remastered through. Um, you know the new studio we have new beats everything's pretty much fresh but this song in particular you were telling me that you recorded over 20 years ago yes i I want yes definitely at least 20 years ago it was one of the first songs it was the first song that i did when i got with dope house Uh that was the first track that we did was this and honestly like it's been so long and i haven't heard it since back then so i'm very curious to see how it sounds yeah no so am i i I haven't (laughs) heard it yet but we are about to play it after this so let us know we can all listen to it together Uh, yeah and let us know what you guys think about it and thank you so much powder you know just for being on our show today coming through it's been such a blessing and it's a blessing really to have you back in in the game and we're really excited to hear you can you let everybody know where we can follow you what social medias you have and um where we can find your new album and when we can be expecting that okay so you can follow me my Instagram and TikTok is powder 409 as well as my YouTube. Um, Facebook is just powder and that's really all I'm all I'm on. Okay, yeah. we'll, we'll put that. Um, so like we were talking about the album is done and the album is coming but because I haven't I'm like coming back into this after such a long hiatus I wasn't on social media or anything so I'm kind of starting from zero building back up my fan base. Um, so I've just been dropping singles from the album right now to try to get you know get the fan base back up but once i do uh, you know once i finish kind of dropping the singles that i want to drop then i'll go back and drop the album and you know kind of recap everything and hopefully to a bigger audience at that time so um yeah the the queen is back will be dropping but i'll still be dropping singles for the next couple months so but i mean every single that i've dropped so far has done really really well and i've been very impressed with my organic growth <laughs> because I haven't really paid for I haven't paid for promotion really yet and organically it's everything's doing pretty well I would say for being back for a year so um That's just stay so tuned good. stay tuned because I'm going to keep dropping and there's so much more to come okay guys you heard it here on the almost home podcast and make sure you guys follow powder on Facebook and subscribe to her YouTube channel as well thank you for having me yeah of course uh, uh, home easy, Mark easy. This for you, this. baby. No, no joke. This for you, fellas. Ah, some I cooked up. The dope house in my kitchen. Ah, yeah. Roll Cadillacs, never lie on raps. Kill a herb till my lungs collapse Lost two grand last night shooting crafts Then I hit the Ritz and bought a few laps Just got a letter from my old best friend Doing 25 in a federal pen Wanna come home but he said until then Could I look over his three children They wake him up at 5 a.m. for Fruit Loops Draped up in white overalls and black boots to drive a lag, sipping gin and juice Now we need money for some chips and soups Run around town with a sack of rocks Polo shirts with the matching socks Mom, I promise one day I'ma stop I'ma grow up and be an astronaut <laughs> I'm on a Mexican radio, radio, radio. I'm on a Mexican uh, radio Mexican
radio Want my real name, Angela Perez yeah. Don't be surprised when you see me in a bins Got the Rolex, so I threw away the guess uh. Everybody fighting over little old me Cause I blew up and I'm only 18 Talking that S to the H-I-T Have your boys rapping about your dead homie Half Mexicana, half Italiana yeah. Shaking ass like Juana La Cubana Todos amaran como ella canta Smoking on a killer bitty bitty bomb bomb uh, I'm on a Mexican radio I'm on a Mexican no, radio Now daddy come first and daddy come next Daddy represent that screws and text Silly punks jealous of the SP Max But your whole crew should be wearing Kotex Rolling through life like a tumbleweed I'm the young prez of my company Home catching hell cause I love my weed Baby can you please let your husband breathe Tryna dodge death and tryna dodge jail Oh damn friends tryna do my girl People used to call me a bum from hell Laughed at my car when my muffler fell I'm on a Mexican radio radio, radio. I'm on a Mexican no, radio, radio, radio I'm on a Mexican radio you guys that concludes today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed the tour i hope you guys enjoyed the new remix of mexican radio featuring powder a big shout out to my girl powder thank you so much for coming on the show today and thank you to all of our supporters and all of our viewers on youtube um, that subscribe to spm tv we just got our plaque for 100,000 viewers so thank you guys so much we love you guys so much We'll see you guys next week on another episode of the Almost Home Podcast.